Good morning. Happy Saturday. Hi, Amanda. Who do we have on right now? Turn this music down. Jessa, hey, you guys. How's it going? Good morning. Hi, Susan. Who else is on live? Hey, Carly. Hey, girl. Are you back from California? I think we're chatting this week. Um, hey, you guys. Good morning. Just wait for a few people to hop on. I, uh, I wanted to do a quick scope this morning. I'm actually just sitting outside the house before I go in. Hi, Kelsey. Hey, Megan. Um, I wanted to do a real quick scope on the five things that I do on the weekend to help me really rock it out, feel good in my body all week. And I'd love to hear some of your ideas on this topic. Um, you've probably heard me talk about this before, how important it is to plan to be healthy and to have some key rituals built into your, your day that don't even feel like work after a certain point. Usually it takes a couple weeks of doing them and it just, you, you know, you build it into how you live. Hi, Pastor Darren, Pastor Darren in the house. Um, you know, you build them into how you live so that it just, it's natural and it flows and you feel awesome. Okay. So the first thing that I do is on Saturdays, I, I take a little bit of me time. And I also do, um, some personal development. So, you know, after a busy week, this feels really good to my soul to do this. So I actually just came back from a yoga class at the Western fair market. If any London girls are in the house, I know we've got a couple, um, I know you guys all love Western Fair Market, right? It's so awesome, the community, and just going and, and grabbing a whole bunch of fresh fruits and veggies, local produce, I love it. And I do a yoga class right there at the market, and then I grab some fresh fruit and some flowers for myself. So um, I'm looking forward to going in the house and um, you know, giving them a good bath soak and um, chopping up lots of fresh veggies for myself and the kids and my husband to snack on all weekend. Um, but that's a really important piece, is, is do something for you over the weekend that moves your body in a fun way. If I'm not doing yoga, I love to get out for a longer run, put a good podcast on and just kind of um, move my body and, and kind of exhale the week, right? The second thing I do is I take a little bit of purposeful self-care. I always enjoy a really nice long bath on um, a Saturday evening, usually right after dinner, um, with some Epsom salts, some essential oils, um, my diffusers going. I'll usually read a nice book in there. I actually just heard about this new book from a friend of mine called The Goddess Training. Has anyone read that? And I, um, I don't know, what a great title. I just, I love it. I, I, I don't even know what it's about, but I know it's going to be a bestseller. <laughs> um, so, you know, figure out what you can do for you this weekend. What's, what's something that you can do for yourself to just, you know, make your, that little thing, but that it causes a big shift. What's something that you can do to take that extra little bit of care for yourself? Pastor Darren, I use doTERRA. It's a brand that I fully stand behind. I love it. I've been using it for um, about a year and a half now. And I believe it's uh, the, the most pure and potent essential oil you can get on the market today. And you can you can message me if you want any info. My email is uh, heyholefit at gmail.com. So, so that's kind of the second thing. I just look for ways to just top up my cup a little bit. It could be going for a massage. It could be meeting a, a friend that I love for tea. Um, you know, just doing things that are really going to fill you up. Uh, so the third thing is I will do something to increase my mental health, my, my personal health, and I'll, um, I'll develop myself, my brain in some way. So in the morning, Saturday mornings, I love to get up a little bit earlier and I'll put on some great podcasts and I'll clean the house or I'll dig into a personal development book. Um, one of my favorite reads lately was uh, a book called Essentialism, and it, it helps you really focus on what you're doing throughout the day that is either really essential minimalist things with, with big results, or are you doing too many of those non-essentialist kinds of things? And um, I think I first heard about this book through uh, a group mentor I love, Tiffany Peterson. Um, the fourth thing I do is meal prep. How many of you do this right now? Do you take time on the weekend to chop up and clean up lots of healthy foods, make some batch recipes, get your crock pot going? Um, maybe you, you batch cook so that you have healthy leftovers throughout the week. Good job, Jenny. Uh, so this is something I do every single weekend. Um, it could be just boiling a dozen eggs. It could be 
chopping up um, a big healthy bowl of salad with heartier vegetables. It could be making a big batch of soup and freezing half of it for, for later. Um, I always use my crock pot on the weekend so I don't feel like I'm in the kitchen. I love to get outside with the kids, especially as we are coming into fall. Um, these days are numbered where we'll have nice weather. So that's something I do every weekend, and I actually have a, a webinar I led called The Healthy Sustainable Kitchen. If you need help in this area, it was the very first webinar I, I ever did where I, I brought my, my camera into my kitchen and I recorded myself doing the meal prep and I created an ebook for you, and I give you my systems for that. So that's, that's something I is, is just a non-negotiable for me on the weekend. And then my fifth thing that I do, thanks Jenny, hi Katie. Um, the, f the fifth thing that I do every single weekend is I review my upcoming week. So I love using Google Calendar. It's my personal system. And I, I have an approach where I, what works for me is I actually will calendar everything every day. Like literally everything right from when I'm having my workout, when I'm showering, when I'm prepping dinner. Because I love the feeling of deleting those things when I accomplish them. It just feels really good. So my what I like to do on the weekend is I'll look at everything that I've calendared for the upcoming week just to see if it makes sense for my goals, for for what uh, my overarching kind of vision is for myself, especially as I head into a new season. This is also something that I do three months out. I look at commitments. Um, so so this is just my personal approach and, and honestly something I'm personally working on quite heavily right now is the practice of saying no to everything before I commit and really measuring it against my goals and this is something you know, you will all experience as you continue to up level yourself. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're an entrepreneur. Maybe you're looking at at growing your your current reach and up up leveling your leadership, um, moving on to moving into a bigger space, having bigger impact. In order to do that, you need to be saying no to things that don't serve you anymore. Huffington Post, hello, peace. Um, so anyway, those are my five tips for you. We've got about we've got over about 25 people in the live group. I want to hear from you. What's what are some things that you do on the weekend to just fill up your cup and 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 head into the week on a high? Um, one other thing I'd love to add while we're waiting for some comments here is I really try to honor Sundays as a day of of family and connection and spiritual growth, um, so that I I can you know go into the week not feeling drained. <laughs> Amanda says she crawls back into bed for a nap. Totally. Work out and meal plan. Sneak out and do yoga. Totally. My my husband's expecting me to come in the door right now, but you know, I wanted to connect with you guys. <laughs> Write in my gratitude journal every night. Carly does that. I love that. Do you, Carly, do you have um, a journal that you use, like the five minute journal, or do you just use a beautiful journal that you bought and, and just kind of reflect? What else do you guys do? can't see your comments right now. They'll come in in a flood. I just finished my beach Pilates class of the summer. Your last one. Cool, Meg. That's awesome. Jenny said Sunday's family day, hot ups and salt bath every night with oils. Um, I love that. My favorite oils are Ylang Ylang and lavender to use in the tub. It's actually called a gratitude journal. Some, some prompts, but usually free writing. Yeah. Awesome. And you know, I just, I really like to share on this topic because it's something that I neglected for a long time. And when you're burnt out, you cannot give. And I, it's really important to me that when I'm on, I'm serving from a high level. You know, when I'm, when I'm, I do a lot of calls every single day. Um, I talk with like over 25 women every single week, mentoring them in their business. And, <clears throat> you know, I, if I'm not feeling good about what I'm doing in my own life, how could I ever expect to be able to give to others, right? So this is this is a really important lesson I've had to learn myself that there are certain things I need to do, um, especially on the weekend, to head into that that mind frame in the week. I'm a huge believer in living the lessons ourselves before we ever head out there to teach. Um, and I, I also believe that we can draw a lot on our own personal experiences more, more than we could ever read in a book. Um, so learn to live it in your body so that you can, you can share that with others. And, um, and this is a huge, huge lesson for any of us that are entrepreneurs and, and mothers, especially too. Right. All right. So I'm going to get back in the house. 
gonna go chop up some of this food that we've made. For those of you that are joining late, um, today's scope was on the five things that I do every weekend to set up a healthy rock star lifestyle, especially through the week when things get busy. Thanks for joining live, you guys. Peace out, have a great weekend.